Hello, this is the lab where we will do the attack. This is Jan Zaido, our technical coordinator, who will do the attack. Hi, for this attack we will be using the following setup. We have here a SCADA simulator with a real PLC. Next, in this laptop we have the HMI interface that you can see behind me on this television. And the attacker machine is running Backtrack Linux 5 revision 3 and we'll use Metasploit framework and some C source code to create malware and infect the HMI. Hi, we're going to perform the attack. I'm going to use Metasploit framework to create a malware and put in this flash drive. We're going to put this flash drive on the HMI to infect and gain remote shell. I'm gonna use Metasploit framework to generate the payload. I'm using a shell script to automate this process. Little shell script that automate the process. I'm going to use a uh, port 443 because it mimics HTTPS port. Meanwhile, I'm going to launch the handler to accept the reverse connection. This handler will be auto-configured to migrate to explorer.exe in connection. Now the handler is set up, the payload is still being generated and encoded by Metasploit framework. And as soon as it's ready, we are going to copy this for the flash drive. Okay, the sample is ready. Now we are going to do the merge from a simple C loader skeleton with the generated payload by Metasploit framework. This skeleton is a simple C program that will allocate memory and then it will run the payload directly in memory. Now we are going to use Windows C compiler to compile our malware to a Windows executable. Now I'm going to copy over to the pen drive and insert into the HMI. And insert our pen drive and wait for the connection back. Now that we generated the payload with the Metasploit framework onto this flash drive, I'm going to insert into the HMI machine in order to run my malware and get my remote shell. This machine has auto-run settings configured uh, as vulnerable and then as the window pops out and we click it to open, it will automatically run our malware. Then we got the connection and session is open. Migrating to explorer.exe. Killing original process. And we shall get our interpreter shell now. Yeah. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you got interested, please sign up for our next training classes.